students, today we will be discussing the topic infancy. The objectives of this lesson are to identify the physical developments that occur during infancy, to comprehend what sensory and perceptual milestones infants complete, to understand the motor developments that take place during infancy, to learn about the cognitive developments that infants accomplish during this period, to examine the language development seen in infancy, to become aware of the social developments the infants achieve. Development proceeds by stages. As the infant grows, he or she moves from one stage to another in a sequential manner. Infancy is the first stage of human development after birth which continues until the second year of life. The word infant derives from the Latin term infans meaning unable to speak. Thus many define infancy as the period from birth to approximately two years of age when language begins to flourish. Infancy is an exciting period of many firsts. There is the first smile, the first successful grasp, first evidence of separation anxiety, first word, the first step and of course the first sentence. The infant is a dynamic ever-changing being who undergoes an orderly and a predictable sequence of neurodevelopmental changes as well as physical growth. The period of infancy plays a major role in later development. During this stage, the baby explores the world through sensory and motor skills. During the first two weeks after birth, the infant tries to adjust to the new environment outside the mother's womb. From the second week onwards, the baby's growth takes place rapidly. We will now talk about the major developments that take place during infancy, starting with physical development. At birth, the proportions of the baby's body are very different from those of the adult. The infant's head is large while the other parts of the body are smaller in comparison. During the first two weeks after birth, babies are called neonates. They usually have wrinkled, blotchy red skin and a large head. There is a rapid growth in infants thereafter over the first two years of their lives. By the age of five months, the average infant's birth weight is double to around 15 pounds and by the age of one year the baby's weight is tripled to almost 22 pounds and he or she grows by a foot and is about 30 inches tall. By the end of the second year the average baby's weight is four times as much as that at birth and the height would be around three feet. We now look at the sensory and the perceptual development that takes place during infancy. Sensation is the experience of a stimulus acting upon the sensory receptors in the body, while perception is the process of interpreting the sensation. Much research has been carried out to understand infant perception. Visual acuity, which refers to the clarity of one's vision, improves during the baby's first year. The infant's color receptors function much like an adult's, even at just two months of age. Around three months, infants are capable of perceiving with both size and shape constancy. In the year 1960, the researchers Gibson and Walk experimentally demonstrated that even at just six months of age, infants can perceive depth 
and therefore they avoid heights. Within the womb, the fetus is found capable of hearing weeks before delivery. After birth, they can hear sounds although their sensory threshold is higher than that of adults. Some babies respond to sound almost immediately after birth. Within a few days of birth, infants begin recognizing their mother's voice. They develop a relationship with their parents. Newborn babies have been shown to be able to discriminate between sweet and sour tastes. In fact, taste is considered the most highly developed of all the senses at birth. A response to different smells has also been observed within just two hours of birth. Neonates not only show the ability to respond to sound, but they can also discriminate among certain sounds. Even when just three days old, neonates show a marked preference for the mother's voice over the voices of others. Vision develops more slowly than many of the other senses. Responses to light and darkness tend to be functional. Within two days of birth and by the time they are 10 days old, infants can follow moving objects with their eyes. Neonates can focus their eyes to a distance of about 8 to 10 inches. By six months of age, infants can discriminate between colors, between such shapes as um, triangles and circles, and between the faces of parents and strangers. Some infants as young as one month old can distinguish between familiar and unfamiliar faces. Let's now move on to examine motor development in infancy. Motor development is the process through which a child acquires movement patterns and skills. In their first year of life, infants acquire the ability to direct their eyes at targets, to support their bodies against gravity, to grasp and manipulate objects, and to move across the room. By six weeks of age, infants can hold their heads upright. By two months, the child can roll from back onto side and by three months of age the infant can grasp an object. Around seven months the infant can sit alone and he or she begins to crawl. Around one year of age the baby walks independently. The pictorial chart shown on the screen now delineates the development of infants in a sequential order. Note that the ages shown are mere averages and it is normal for the milestones to vary by a month or two in either direction. For instance, some infants would start walking earlier while some would be delayed by a few months. At two months of age, infants are able to lift the head up on their own. Around three months, the infant can roll over. He or she can sit propped up without falling over at the age of four months. By six months, infants are able to sit up without support. They begin to stand up while holding on to things for support from their seventh month. Around nine months, the infant begins to walk, however, still using support. At 10 months of age, he or she is able to momentarily stand up without support. The infant can stand alone with more confidence by 11 months and by 12 months or one year, he or she begins walking alone without support. They even start walking backwards without support at around 14 months. When approaching the 17th month, the infant can walk up steps with little or no support. By 18 months or one and a half years, the infant is able to manipulate objects with the feet while walking, such as kicking a ball. Motor skills are linked with the developmental changes in perception, 
and cognition. The acquisition of new motor skills provides infants with new sources of information about the world. For example, the development of the eye-hand control provides infants with opportunities to learn about events and the location of objects and surfaces. The development of independent locomotion allows infants to learn about places, objects and surfaces that occur in various locations. We now look at the cognitive progresses that take place during infancy. In the first month after birth, the baby uses reflexes, adapts reflexive behavior to different environmental conditions, is able to recognize and can also learn basic associations. By around two months, the infant is able to anticipate. For instance, he or she stops crying at the sight of a feeding bottle, which is an indicator of food. He or she shows interest in animate behavior from humans and exhibits organized and selective looking. When they are of three months, infants react to new objects they make mutual eye contact, they enjoy face-to-face -face play and objects of interest, they look longer at an object and their attention is more of the investigative type. At four months of age, the baby repeats actions that are pleasurable and satisfying. He or she reaches out and probes objects and reacts differently to some usual and unusual objects. When there are five months, infants visually follow moving objects and they focus attention for a longer time on objects as well as on people. At six months of age, the baby learns behavior of known person. He or she reacts to changes in familiar events. And six month old infants have the ability to perceive depth as we had seen earlier, and thus to avoid situations in which they might fall. When they're of seven months of age, infants explore objects by manipulation. They drop objects from heights, and they understand the notion of physical support. They also focus more attention while playing. At eight months, the baby displays basic problem-solving abilities, he or she attends to play and puts everything in the mouth as a way of exploring. When they are of nine months of age, infants begin to remember without cues. They try to solve problems. They are aware of the cause and effect relationships. They also understand that outcomes are due to one's own actions. They perceive distant objects and they begin to show goal-oriented attention. By 10 months, the baby investigates different parts of a toy. He or she repeats play sequences and finds out hidden objects. By 11 months, the infant accomplishes goals using different toys and he or she is more easily entertained. When they are one year of age, infants plan to achieve a goal. They comprehend objects. They use imitative learning. They can recognize themselves in the mirror and they also follow others' glances. Around 15 months, the infant uses trial and error learning, understands the functional quality of objects, uses dolls in play and shows clear evidence of social referencing. When they are of 18 months, infants experiment with objects they can recall better and they use language to direct their attention. At 21 months, the infant understands past, present and future to some degree and is able to comprehend simple categorization. And finally, at two years of age, the baby begins to think symbolically and uses language to direct attention and to regulate behavior. Infants reproduce behavior after observation. 
They plan to solve a problem, they engage in fantasy play, and they recognize the different roles of the family members. We now look at a model of cognitive development of infants proposed We had seen earlier that the root of the term infancy means unable to speak. However, the foundations of language development begin in infancy, such that sounds are the means by which infants communicate birth onwards, and the aim of producing these sounds is to draw attention. We will now learn about the milestones common to infants world over, irrespective of the language that they are exposed to. Crying. It is the first sound typically produced at birth. Different types of cries indicate different meanings. Consider the hunger cry, which is also referred to as the basic cry. Here, the infant produces a rhythmic pattern of crying with brief intermittent silence. There is also the anger cry, wherein the baby forces out air through the vocal cords. The pain cry involves sudden loud moaning and breath holding. Cooing. At around one to two months, babies begin to coo, which is a form of a gurgling sound produced at the back of the throat, either in imitation of or in response to the person interacting with the infant. Babbling. By the middle of the first year, infants start babbling by producing sounds which are repeated consonant and vowel syllables like ma, ma, ma or ba, ba, ba. Gestures. Gestures, namely pointing and showing, develop around 8 to 12 months of age. Other examples of gestures include those of infants waving their hands when they see somebody leaving or they may hold out their hands as a way of asking to be picked up by the caregiver. Infants also begin to smile during interaction with others by around the sixth or the eighth week and they can also laugh when they're about four months old. These help the infants communicate and build bonds with others. The first word is usually uttered around the age of 13 months and by one and a half years, infants start building their vocabulary. We now proceed to look at the social development of infants. At all ages, a child's psychological functions derive their meaning from the social context in which the child is read. The nature, content and rate of development are all closely related to the kind of interpersonal experiences that the child encounters within the social environment in which he or she grows up. The social development of the infant is expressed in several ways. Sensory processing is influenced by the infant's social needs. The infant has greater discrimination ability for social voices than for non-social stimuli such as environmental noise. Interactions with peers shape children's behavior at an early age. They smile, laugh and vocalize while looking at their peers. They also show more interest in peers than in inanimate objects and they show preferences for peers with whom they are familiar over unknown peers. With age, the infant's level of sociability rises. In the first six months of life, infants touch and look at each other and they are responsive to each other's behavior. For instance, if one child cries, immediately others start crying. Between six and 12 months, infants influence other children by vocalizing, by looking at or by waving at them. Babies aged between 9 and 12 months mutually present and accept toys if they know each other. 
At the age of 14 months, they engage in social games and they imitate each other. Let's look at the milestones in an infant's social development. From birth to six months, infants touch and look at one another and they cry in response to another's crying. Between six and 12 months, an infant tries to influence another child by vocalizing, by looking at or waving at the child. He or she interacts with other infants in a generally friendly way, but could also hit or push the other child. Between 13 and 24 months, the infant begins to adopt complementary behavior like taking turns. They engage more in social play throughout the period and the infant begins to engage in imaginative play as well. In this manner, the infant builds strong love and friendship relationships with family members and a few significant others. One must remember that developments in the different domains do not exist in isolation. With physical, sensory and perceptual, motor, cognitive, language and social development that we have seen in this lesson, the baby proceeds from the stage of infancy to the next stage of development which is called childhood. The newborn infant is a helpless creature with limited means of communication and few skills. Infancy is the first stage of human development after birth which continues until the second year of life. By the end of this period, the baby forms relationships with others, learns a lot about the physical world and is about to undergo a vocabulary explosion as language development leaps ahead. In this lesson, we have examined development during infancy in the physical, motor, sensory and perceptual, cognitive, language and social domains. Changes in one domain influence development in the other. For example, we had seen the association between the infant's motor and cognitive development. The rate and amount of growth seen during infancy suggests that care must be ensured to foster development so that the infant achieves the milestones and proceeds to the next developmental stage which is childhood.